Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching another Gypsy video. In today's video, a crazy car mom tries to ruin her daughter's wedding. It's wedding day for Jet and Bubba. I'm so nervous. Finally the day, it's right here. Like, there's no get out of jail for free. Like, this is it. Okay, so Jet and Bubba are getting married. Bubba's a bit of a unique name, isn't it? I don't think I've ever heard the name Bubba before. I got some rhinestones in my eyelids. I got gold glitter, like beehives in my hair. Oh my god, wait, so she's called Jet. Her husband's called Bubba. I was thinking Bubba would be a girl's name, but apparently it's a man's name. I mean, it's their big day. They are getting married. Groom Bubba is also getting dressed to impress so he can enjoy his last night as a free man. I hate the phrase in free man. It's like, no, you're not a free man. If you date somebody, you're not free anymore. Like, you are in a relationship. There's a thing that apparently guys do, like the male grooms do, where they go to, like, a strip club the night before a wedding. It's like, why would you do that? Like, why? I don't understand that. They're always like, oh, it's my last free night as man. It's like, no, you were never free. The minute you started dating somebody, that's when your freedom went away. Turn around, let me see the back of that. And he's ordered a special tuxedo just for the occasion. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the cream suit. I'm telling you right now, if you spill something, that's gonna stain it. Yeah, I don't know why you'd wear that colour of a suit. That's like the worst possible colour. I love how I'm saying that when I'm literally wearing like a white t-shirt. Like, this stains so easily. But I mean, I'd much rather wear white than cream. The reason why I wanted the horse in the horseshoe is it's it's my culture, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, he's like Loki kind of hot. Look at you, Bubba. Do you wanna know something? You shouldn't be called Bubba, you should be called baby. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh my god, he's 22 as well. He's literally three years older than me. This tux is awesome. Any Roman child man will be honoured and proud to wear it. I mean, do you want to know if you're honoured to wear it, you can wear it. I just think it looks absolutely horrific. It's not that, like, it's the tuxedo and, like, the logo. It's the colour. I've never seen a white tuxedo like that before. Like, I've never seen a cream tuxedo. That's literally the same colour as somebody's nails. You know, if you grow your nails out and they get, like, a creamy, dirty colour. That's literally the colour of his tuxedo. Excited, I'm nervous. I don't know where to put my face. It's gonna be a good day today, man. Let's go to the wedding. Hey, forget about it, huh? Someone seems a bit excited. Right, come on, Bubba. You need to get them nervous nerves out of you. Bubba may be dressed to impress, but the mother-in-law, Angie, is getting dressed to kill. Oh, God. I made... <laughs> she does look like somebody would kill you. This is the bit where the drum starts. I love these videos. Like, I'm telling you, the mums are always crazy. What is up with these people's parents? Like, I'm not even taking the mickey. They're genuinely psychotically crazy. It's the morning of the wedding and I'm, going, I'm not gonna let it happen. Why not? Your son's literally getting married. They're like, your daughter didn't know who it is. Why wouldn't you be happy for them? Just like, let them get married. I just love how she's gonna end up going into the wedding and crashing it. I do not like Bubba because Bubba is facing time in jail. Oh, okay, now that's understandable. Yeah, I'm kind of with the mom. Why is Bubba spending time in jail? What has Bubba done? Bubba seems like such a nice person, but apparently he ain't. I never really support the mothers because they are psychotically crazy. But you want to know something? I'm going to get behind this mobber. You know, if somebody is facing jail, there's a reason that they're facing jail. It's because they probably committed a crime. And nobody wants their child around a criminal. Any smart mother that would be in my shoes would do the same thing that I'm doing. Do you want to know something, Angie? I'm with you. Forget Bubba. We love Angie in this household. I want to be like Angie whenever I grow up. She's kind of scary, but I love her. Because ain't nobody wants their daughter with a jailbird. Hell no. Angie is like, do you want to know something? I think it, and I'm going to say it. I mean, mm, is it good that we're in the wedding? Probably not. But I mean, you know, like, maybe go there, cause a bit of chaos for the cameras. You know, get me the views. But they're two grown-ups. What can you do? You can't do but so much. Well, watch and see. I love Angie. Like, I love her attitude. She's fixing her hair and she's like, do you want to do something you better watch and see? Oh my God, Angie needs to be careful. She's going to pull up with an AK-47. I'm going to go through that place like a bat out of hell. Angie reminds me of a teacher who used to be terrified of primary school. Was there ever that one teacher who you knew you should not mess them around? Like, they would not deal with it. I remember one time I got screamed at by the teacher. I can't remember what for. I think I got sent into her class to sit at the back to do work. I was like misbehaving. She scraped at me and I actually swallowed my heart. I used to be terrified of her and, and she reminds me of her. Okay, put it this way. What if it goes through and they do get married? Well, you know what? At least I can say I tried. I look, you want to know what Bubba's done to get into jail. If it's something small and petty, then you want to know something, brush it under the rug. But if it is something big and bad, then yeah, I'm with Angie. But it's like, I don't know if she's just like a crazy narcissist. Like I did read the comments and they were like, the mom's crazy. And 
Angie, I don't know if I'm gonna be sticking by your side anymore. Well, you know what? At least I can say I tried. So look out, Bubba, cause here comes Mama. Oh God, Bubba better watch out. Bubba's about to get busted. Big Angie's in the building. Hurricane Angie's gonna get him real good. Oh God, Hurricane Angie, I was calling her Big Angie. She is like Hurricane Katrina. Angie's coming to whip up a storm. Unaware of Angie's plans, Jet is getting her rather large wedding dress on, which is proving a bit tricky. Wait, does she know that her mum's coming? I always feel bad for these brides because like obviously it's their big day and like obviously the mother's ruining it. But it must be like so mentally draining and toxic to have a mother like that. I'm just happy that my parents aren't on social media and they're quite quiet because I cannot deal with a mother like that. I'm just gonna start walking and then it'll start following me. Trying to walk from the room to the car is a struggle. <laughs> Whoa, that is a big dress, Jesus. Okay, look, I've seen a load of wedding dresses online, but I've never seen one like that before. This literally looks like a bungee jump thing that you jump off a building with. Like, it looks like a parachute. Look, she's up there and then she's got all of this and that just looks like a dead, like, I don't even know, pigeon. It looks like she's got an ostrich skinned it outside and then attached it to her, like, wedding dress. I have no idea how this dress is going in a car. Oh my gosh, really? But this dress is going in a car. I don't know how you're gonna fit that in a car like did you literally say that also i've always wondered this you know whenever like people walk into like the church with like the wedding dress why do they let it like drag on the floor it's gonna get ripped it's gonna get stones in it i'm so happy that i'm never gonna be wearing a wedding dress like i don't even see myself getting married because like imagine you spend loads of money in like a wedding dress and then it just gets like ripped and like pushed all over the floor jeanette is the one in a million i love her to death i i couldn't imagine being with anybody else but her that man looks really familiar and i can't tell where from i don't know he thinks he looks familiar like who does he look like. He looks like somebody but I can't put my finger on it. I think he looks like an MMA fighter or something like that. We've gathered today to celebrate the marriage of Bubba and Jeanette. Jet and Bubba's dream wedding is in full swing. And Big Angie's coming in to ruin it. Get ready, all hell's about to break loose. Her mom Angie has turned up uninvited. Time I looked at you, I knew forever. What the f Oh my god, she's there. Uh-oh. Oh my god, she's literally just walked in and started screaming. Oh my god, Angie really wasn't on whenever she said she was gonna come in like a hurricane. Oh my god, no, I don't like this. Do you wanna know something? Maybe have a wee screaming match and then walk out, but this is actually quite awful. Do you wanna know something? I actually don't support the mother anymore. Like, I low-key love her deep down because she's kind of iconic. Like, I love the messiness and the drama. But think of it. This is literally her daughter having her big day and the mum's just ruined it. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god, wait, is he gonna go and punch her? Forget Big Angie. Doug's about to dig Angie a grave. Oh my god, he's storming outside. Who's he going out to beat up? Oh my god, Doug is doing something. What's Doug doing? Where's he at? Where's the f bomb at? Who? Huh? Where's the bomb at? Who are they looking for? Who is the bomb? Is it her husband? Oh my god, no, the husband's gonna get beaten. If Angie gets her husband put in hospital, she's gonna have to pay a load of hospital bills. Where's the bomb at? Where's the bomb at? Oh my god, right, okay, Andy just done something that really irritates me. Whenever I see people arguing online, they're always like, get out of my face. But they're the ones who walk over and get in their face. It doesn't make any sense. It's like me going up to you and punching you in the face and then saying, don't you dare try to punch me. Oh my god, Angie's crazy. You are not gonna be with my daughter. I will not have it under no circumstances, you better. Imagine if Doug just went... Like that. What's she gonna do? Oh my god, I look you want to see like Doug Puncher. Obviously, I don't support violence against women unless it's women like her. Can we also talk about that. People are always like, oh, I will always support a woman. Screw that. I don't care if you're a woman. If you're evil, I will not support you. I don't care if you're gay, white, black, Asian, Indonesian. Like, I don't care if you're a bad person. I won't support you. And I don't know who to support in this video. It's crazy. Would your f***ing horseshoe on the back of your shirt? You're a red bum. Oh, she's Oh my god, I love how the daughter just did there. Like, she's a psycho! Okay, now I can understand why she wouldn't want her mother at her funeral. Yet again, I feel so bad for the children because, like, obviously this is their big day and they're talked to crazy mother to ruin it. Obviously, like, if he done something, like, punch somebody in her family, I'd be, like, all supporting the mother going in and ruining it. But you want to know something? Now I've decided I don't actually support it. Come on, get in here! She's out of the wind. Okay, so apparently mummy ain't coming into the wedding. I mean, the wedding's still gonna go ahead. They can just lock her out. She's gonna sound like a screeching cat out in like the middle of the night. Like she's just gonna be stood outside screaming. Don't tell me what to do. Don't away. tell me 
what to do. Oh my god, she just shoved her daughter. Oh my god, why is she so angry? Is this literally over him that like, going to possible jail? Okay, do you want to know something? This is actually getting a bit sketchy. I've got no idea how these people can keep their cool in these situations because if that were me, I'd just turn around and ding them. Get your mother out of here. I love how everyone there is just laughing. Look at this one with the pink hair. She's trying her best not to laugh. That's literally me whenever anything happens. Like if something happens and it's like really violent, I laugh. We also talk about how boys always square up to each other. Obviously, like if it's something silly and like they're not actually going to beat each other, I think it's so funny. But I'd actually get so scared so easily if they genuinely start trying to injure each other. I mean, it's scary whenever you see fists flying left, right and center. I got a mother Oh my god, no, don't threaten his mother. Don't say break your mother, I'll break you, Angie. Honestly, I'll break your two legs and decapitate them. Yeah, do you want to know something? Angie's went too far. Don't threaten the person's mother. Is the mother even there? Like, is the mother going to jump out and start fighting? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah, she is a sloppy drunk. Jesus, she got proper floored there. Yeah, do you want to know something? Angie's crazy. I don't support her anymore. She was taking down security as well. Like, Jesus, she was getting flocked around. Your mother's a drug addict. Listen. I'm not gonna lie, you seem like the drug addict right now because you're acting like that. Yet again, where's Doug's mom? Where is his mom? You caused your scene, now get out. Yes, you did cause your scene and that was good television. Oh god, that was an absolute nightmare. I mean, there's still a few seconds left. I'm definitely not gonna let my mom ruin my wedding. By no means. I'm gonna get back in there, I'm gonna live it up. Period. You walk in there, you put out your finger and say, do you want to put a ring in it? Do what Beyonce said 20 years ago. I only get this once in a lifetime and I'm gonna make the best out of it with or without her. Exactly. Do you want to know something, honey? You just walk in there, you get married. I mean, Doug could be getting put into jail any minute, so you might as well marry him while you can. I now pronounce you husband and wife <laughs> and just like that they're married if you know who Doug is and what he done to possibly be going to jail please let me know and also let me know if they're still in a couple because if Doug is single I'm absolutely gonna slide in his DMs anyways guys that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this video if you're a press big red subscribe button and yes I'll see you all in my next video